What's going on guys? This is Alex over here at My Freedom Smokes and today we're going to be taking a look at a new starter kit we've gotten in from Wismic and it's the Ravage. This is actually a pretty good mod. Uh, it's got a max uh, wattage output at 230 and a max temperature output at 600 uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, so as you can probably guess it's a temperature control and temp uh, multiple wattage device and it even has what's called TCR which is temperature coefficient of resistance and we'll start talking about that a little bit more in a little bit. First let's look inside the box see what we all have got. In here, uh, you're going to get your handy instruction manual, which does go over the TCR a bit more in depth. Uh, the reason I brought it up at the beginning is because it is set a little bit different than your typical um, temperature control settings. So inside the manual, they have listed a little diagram for you, kind of showing you uh, your nickel, titanium, uh, different type of coils, and what that range should be set at. So make sure and take a look at this uh, when you first get it in. That way, you can kind of see what you're working with. Uh, but you don't have to use that mode, you can just put in regular wattage mode, which is what I've got it in, or you can put your temp control coil in. Uh, they also come with a little um, WM series coil reference, uh, because you've got your coils broken down in series of WM1, 2, and 3. So uh, with this, it kind of gives you the best um, wattage output, what your flavor is going to be like, and what your cloud production is going to be like. So Wismic really does go the extra mile to really kind of give you some extra tips and hints when it comes to using their devices. And then you've also got a diagram for the uh, tank, which is the gnome tank. In addition to those manuals, you're going to get your micro USB charging cable, uh, which will pop right here on the front panel. Along with the additional replacement coil, uh, this one is the 0.4 coil, the one I've been using lately have been also a 0.4. So you get two 0.4 coils in here with this kit. And you're also going to get an additional drip tip and some O-rings in case yours were to start stripping. Uh, going into the actual look and design and hand feel of the device <clears throat> is quite nice. Uh, you've got a side squeeze for firing and the top filling I've made this mistake a couple times refilling it because there's not a lot of tanks that do this right now. Uh, this is not a top screw and this is not a bottom screw. It's one that you slide to the side. Uh, the reason I wanted to forget this is because a lot of times uh, you don't have to move the drip tip in order to get to it. Uh, with this one, you do have to either lift up the tip some like this or just remove it entirely. And then where your little design is right here on the top lid, you're going to push that. After that, you're going to get access to your filling well. That way you can fill it up. And after that, you just slide it back over and then either put your drip tip back on or pop it right back into place. Just as easy as that. The display on here is a 1.5 inch screen and it is bright and it's efficient. Uh, you're able to key in the day of the week, uh, the time and your date in the top right corner. I haven't really bothered going through all those different settings to set it up, but I know you are able to do it. So if you're someone that maybe checks their phone all the time for day and time, uh, but you'd rather be, uh, you'd rather not pull out your phone, you've already got your vape in your hand, you can get all that info right here. Functionality is pretty nice. Uh, there is one downside to the, uh, the buttons. I like the squeeze side and your uh, up and down directional buttons at the bottom uh, work really well. Uh, they have what's up here called a function key. And this function key, when I press it, just turns off the screen. And for me, I realize what that is. So I now know if I picked it up and I squeezed it, light's probably off. Top, click top button, it's gonna turn back on. I know that our customers, though, may wind up getting nervous when they pick up their mod and try pressing it and it's not, the light's not coming on. So if that were to happen to you, just make sure and click that little top button on the side here as uh, the screen may have just turned off in your pocket or purse or, you know, taking it from one room to the other. All in all, I really do recommend this kit. Um, it's got a lot of power and it's got a lot of functionality. Uh, this may be a bit intimidating for uh, a beginning user, uh, but an advanced and, uh, you know, I would say veteran vapor, someone that's stuck in with us uh, for the past ye couple years. Uh, this might be something that you definitely want to look into because you're not wasting any money on the tank and this device really does pack a punch. 
So again, uh, this is the Ravage by Wismic. Uh, and if you have any questions about this product at all, just feel free to leave a comment below. And until next time, thank you for vaping.